The war between Israel and Hamas is commanding the attention of the world and sharply dividing international opinion. While aid workers and officials fear that Israel's call for an evacuation of the northern part of Gaza, it is going to spark a humanitarian disaster. The United Nations, on the other hand, continues to urge Israel to call off the evacuation and ceasefire. In the face of this humanitarian catastrophe, I'm calling for two immediate humanitarian actions to Hamas for the immediate and unconditional release of the hostages, to Israel for immediate and restricted access of humanitarian aid to respond to the most basic needs of the people of Gaza. In the latest, the World Health Organization is now ready to supply medicines and other aid to Gaza via the Egyptian border. WHO officials confirm that Israeli defense forces will not block the entry of aid into the Palestinian territory. We welcome Israel's announcement yesterday that it will not block the entry of water, food and medicines into Gaza from Egypt. Fuel is also needed for hospital generators, ambulances and desalination plants and we urge Israel to add fuel to the life-saving supplies allowed to enter Gaza. Our trucks are loaded and ready to go. We're working with Egypt and Palestine Red Crescent societies to deliver our supplies into Gaza as soon as the Rafah crossing is opened, hopefully tomorrow. U.S. President Joe Biden, who traveled to Israel on Wednesday to condemn the attack on a Gaza hospital and said that Israel and Egypt agreed that 20 trucks with relief supplies could cross into the enclave. Up to 20 trucks. This has been a very uh, blunt negotiation I've had. And uh, so we want to get as many of the trucks out as possible. There's, I guess, 150 or something there. Not all of them will go. The first tranche, if there's a second tranche, see how it goes. The commitment is if, in fact, they cross the border. Now, apart from America, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who's currently in Jerusalem, promised Benjamin Netanyahu Britain's unwavering support and added that Britain will stand with Israel in its darkest hour. You describe this as Israel's darkest hour. Well, then it's for me to say I'm proud to stand here with you in Israel's darkest hour. As your friend, we will stand with you in solidarity. We will stand with your people and we also want you to win. Following other leaders' footsteps, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman also condemned the attack on civilians in Gaza. This as he met Sunak in Riyadh, addressing them to be heinous. The Crown Prince warned of dangerous repercussions if the war between Israel and Hamas were to expand. Since the beginning of the conflict, Iran's President Ibrahim Raisi has been quite vocal about his support to Hamas and the Palestinians. And speaking on the explosion which struck Gaza and hospitals, Raisi addressing a large crowd of protesters supporting Palestinians in Tehran said, and I'm quoting here, with every drop of Palestinian blood spilled on the ground, the Zionist regime is one step closer to its fall. The Iranian president further accused U.S. President and the United States of being partners in crime, partner in crimes of Israel. من به امریکایی ها می گویم امروز شما در مقابل چشمان مردم منطقه دارید موشک ها رو از کشورهای منطقه وارد فلسطین اشغالی می کنید دارید رژیم صهیونیستی رو مسلح می کنید بمب هایی که بر سر مردم غزه می ریزد مال شماست as the war escalates, the conflict has stirred long-standing fears in Jordan, home to a large population of Palestinian refugees and their descendants. That a wider conflagration would give Israel the chance to implement a transfer policy to expel Palestinians en masse from the West Bank. Jordan's foreign minister during a press conference alongside his German counterpart said that the country feared the worst was yet to come in the Gaza war, with no signs of success in efforts to de-escalate. He further added that the war would have catastrophic repercussions and urged protecting the region from the danger of its expansion. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.